Hey guys, so I actually just did a review of one of my new skincare favorites, this gel cream, Garnier gel cream, and I thought I'll just go ahead and do a whole sort of dry skin nighttime routine for any of you guys who are struggling with dry skin. Um, I mentioned in my little review of this product that I have gotten drier skin over the winter just because this winter's been so long and I don't know maybe the same thing has happened for you guys and I'm also in more of a northern climate than where I've lived in the past so I think that that all kind of plays a part so I've been trying to make an effort to keep my skin nice and moisturized without doing anything that's going to clog my pores or leave me feeling greasy or anything like that and my nighttime routine lately has been first of all I start out with an exfoliator just in case I have any kind of dry skin on my face. Sometimes on my nose or my cheeks my skin can get a little bit flaky just with how dry it was during the winter and I have two different exfoliators that have both worked really really well for me. One is an expensive brand and one, oh I'm holding up the wrong one, one is an expensive brand and then one is a more affordable brand and they both work great for me so I can't really say that I even recommend one or the other necessarily, they're just different. Um, the only reason that I got this more expensive one is because I had uh, birch box points. So um, I do have this, um, this is Up and Up, it's Target brand. It's, it's basically, it's the same as the St. Ives apricot scrub, which as you guys know, St. Ives already is quite affordable. So this is the generic version of the St. Ives apricot scrub, which I found for me works this just as well as the St. Ives one. So why not spend even less? I think you can get this for maybe $3 or something like that. It's really a pretty good priced face wash and it smells good, it exfoliates really well, it leaves my skin feeling really soft afterwards. And then the more expensive, higher end one I have here is Vasanti Brighten Up. And I, had a, I received a sample of this and I really liked it a lot, so I decided to go for it and get the full size with my birch box points. And it says an enzymatic face rejuvenator with microderm crystals. So it's very kind of fancy and high end. Um, I do find that um, if you like bigger kind of scrubby beads, these it's this is a lot thicker and the beads are a lot um, more intense. Like they're kind of big chunks of walnut in there that really just exfoliate really well. And this one actually has smaller, more kind of refined beads, I guess you could say. I mean, if you look at it, you can't even really see the beads in it, but they do, they're definitely in there and they do um, get in there and really exfoliate your skin. So I'll start out by using one of these two to get any dry skin off. And then once I have my fresh new skin, I, before bed, will put on either one of these two products. And this one I bought on Vitacost.com, which I'll link to down below. Um, and then this one I bought on Amazon. And these two are both, I think, really great. This one's a little bit more expensive. I wanna say it's usually maybe 11 or $12. And this one is about six or $7. And I like both of these a lot too. I sometimes use one, sometimes use the other, just sort of depending on my mood. I do like that this one is lavender scented and I feel like the lavender scent kind of helps to relax you and put you to sleep and kind of put you in the mood to get in bed. And so I do like that. Um, here's what this lavender cream looks like on the inside. It's a super thick, thick cream. Um, I wanna say it's almost like the consistency of butter. Um, so you really kind of have to rub your finger on in there to get some out. Um, it's yeah, it's definitely like a body butter more than like a lotion I would say it's just really really thick thick cream and you just rub that all over your face and in the morning You definitely will feel your face will feel very very hydrated and Really the same with this one although this one's a bit different It definitely feels lighter on your face because it is a gel cream So if you feel like with heavy lotions and creams, it's too can be too heavy for you You might prefer this one and as it gets to be sort of more warmer weather and my skin is not quite as crazy dry and I don't really want to have that really thick feeling, um, I do enjoy using this one. It's very refreshing on the skin. And then the last step, because as you guys know, your lips can sometimes get really dry, like even drier than the rest of your face. And um, I actually have two different lip products. Again, I just sort of alternate these depending on how what I'm in the mood for. I have this Body Shop Aloe Lip Care. And then this Julep Lux Lip, and this is a conditioning treatment. Um, this one just says sensitive skin conditions and soothes very dry 
lips. And neither of these have a color in them. They're not like the lip glosses that you necessarily would wear during the daytime. So I think that they work really well at night because they're both very moisturizing, both very nice and luxurious on the lips, and you can just put on a layer and then just sleep in it. And in the morning, your lips will definitely feel refreshed and feel a lot more moisturized. I think between the two of these, I've actually been preferring this aloe one because the julep one, um, I actually, this is, I do like the applicator. As you can see, it's a metal applicator, so it does feel very refreshing on your lips. It's just always feels very cool and refreshing. Um, but there's something a little bit weird about it. I don't know if, I think it's the sort of the scent or there's a faint scent and taste to it that, that are a little bit weird, but I, it's, it doesn't bother me enough to not use it, but um, I think I like the way that this tastes and smells a little bit better than this one. But they both do a good job of moisturizing your lips. I hope this video was helpful and let me know down in the comments if you guys like any of these products or have tried any of these products or if you have any good products to recommend. What do you use for your skin routine and did you feel like this winter your skin got really dry too or was that just me? Thanks so much for watching. Bye!